here we go on the beautiful red carpet for the All-Star Dog Rescue Celebration. And pretty soon, all those stars are going to be right here shining their light on the dog. And now we've got Carrie Ann and Nava. Hi, Hi Carrie Ann. How are you? I'm wonderful. Carrie Ann, I love your work on Dancing with the Stars, all of your choreography, but also your work for animals. Bless you for what Thank you, you do. so much. That's my favorite part of my life. Like to me, I became a celebrity so that I could do better for animals. I know, <laughs> really? I'm like, I have my job so I can do for animals. And we are here on the red carpet for the Humane Society of the United States Gala, where there will be many stars here tonight, including Moby and Diane Warren, out to shine their light on the animal. Academy Award winner Hilary Swank, welcome to Pet Life Radio. Thank you so much. And with all of the power that you have in Hollywood, you are spending your time right now creating pause for calls as the executive producer yes, and, and, co -host. and one of the human stars, right? Yeah, I, I co-host the show. I'm so excited about it. I'm so thankful on Thanksgiving Day to be able to say yeah. um, that Fox gave us the platform. Hi everybody, it's Megan Blake here with Pet Life Radio and I'm here at an amazing live shoot for Fox Television, the World Dog Awards and the 100th Super Smiley Adventure. Here we go. It's Priscilla Presley. Oh gosh. And Priscilla, can you talk a little bit about why we're here tonight, the importance of HSUS in your work? Oh my God, the work that they do is unbelievable, and I'm 100% behind them. Oh, also the ad gag, um, they all look, oh my God, so many great things are happening. I'm glad you mentioned that so everyone understands HSUS operates, a lot of their work is through legislation, right? Yes, it is. Emulate I the animal this. kingdom. And then one more quick question, what have you learned from animals? What have they taught you personally? I've learned so much myself, I know. Just to relax. <gasps> I love that. Huge. <laughs> Just be. Thank you, dear Francis yeah. Fisher. Thank you. This is good. And, yes. and Riley is Elvis Presley's granddaughter, mm -hmm. right? Welcome Correct. to Pet Life Radio. Thank you. So Riley, tell us why it's so important that we're here tonight. Why are animals so important to the world? Um, I mean, that's a really profound question. <laughs> um, I don't know the answer to that, but I know that I love animals. And there you I, go. I'm... This is ABC World News. Welcome to World News. Tonight, flight school for dogs. We're going to go through one dog at a time. And this dog's neck. Very good. The Better Show. Megan Blake is going to tell us the facts that we need to have before we adopt a rescue pet. They're smiley. We're coming out, Megan. And she's our pet lifestyle coach. So, Megan, who is this guy? I have oh. Super Smiley here with me today. He's the national spokes dog for the Hero Dog Awards, which is oh. way cool. And we're going to talk about the Hero Dog Awards and what you need to know before you adopt a shelter dog. Well, Smiley is an adopted dog because I believe that rescued shelter dogs, they could just be amazing animals. What are some of the questions you should ask the adoption personnel? Very good you... question. Well, if you have cats, for example, has this dog been uh, vetted with cats? If you have mm. children, has this dog been around children? So what's their activity level, their age? Look at your lifestyle and what you expect from your dog. Do you want your dog to participate, to travel with you? You might even want to take a dog trainer with you and do some tests, like see if they're okay with their ears and their paws and their tail, so you know the dog as well as you can before you bring it into your home. Yes, of course. There's a soul connection. Of course. Um, yes. Your love and your passion uh, was part of the reason you were standing on stage presenting recently. Let's take a look. Farrah Fawcett loved animals. Even after Farrah heroically left us, she inspired the love of her life, Ryan O'Neill, to bring a new love into his home, which he adopted publicly on his television series as a statement for pet adoption. So please welcome Academy Award nominee Ryan O'Neill to accept this posthumous inspiration award for Farrah Fawcett. Well, they're both from Best Friends, and uh -huh. Best Friends have the biggest animal sanctuary in the United States. Come on, let's play! Oh, good! I sort of like Mozart. And I'm so glad of the first dog. That's what I thought. I thought you'd love him. Hi everybody, welcome to Adopt This Darn Pet. I'm Megan Blake, and I remember she was very, very shy, had some health issues because she had come from an alleged puppy mill seizure, and tell us how she's doing now. We have regular pet therapy dogs that do come in on a regular basis, but I wanted to find one to come in every day. She's even been outside playing in the grass that she's never been able to do before. Nancy, this is an amazing story. Thank you, thank you so much for adopting Cammy. Thank you to Camden Health and Rehab for letting Cammy start her new life right there on a mission. Adopt this darn pet. Bye, Nancy, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> So where's the safest place in the car for your pets? What about a dog sitting in the front seat with their head hanging out? I know they love that, but think 
about this, as with a child, if an airbag deploys, that could be devastating to the dog. The All-Star Dog Rescue Celebration. The last 100 dogs are going to their forever home on this airplane right here. This is Ed Asner, and I'm on a super smiley adventure. This is good. Thank You're very you. good at this, you know. Oh, well. <laughs> really. I'm impressed. Oh, thank you, Ryan. Yeah. I'm Megan Blake, the pet lifestyle coach. Here we go. Why are animals so important to the world? Um, I mean, that's a really profound question. <laughs> uh,